as a quick video update on just my moss and uh, uh, yeah here I've been keeping in these cups glass pudding cups and I've been keeping them wet uh, never let them dry out the water level sometimes goes, goes down then I just fill it up almost every day either every day or two um, the summer is probably going to be every day and so far no method has worked for me to grow sphagnum <coughs> the red sphagnum isn't growing but it looks healthy still I mean, it's, it, it'll be fine. It's as long as it doesn't dry out, it's fine. The green <laughs> sphagnum is growing now, which is awesome. And I expected that because the red sphagnum was wasn't really growing at first in other pots that much, so I expected it to take a little while to catch up. Um, here, so this is you can see here how there's pieces growing, and it's weird because it almost looks like the sphagnum has like leaves, it's like they're like flat, but I guess that's because it's just starting to grow. Because it's not all, uh, it's this sphagnum moss. Same fluffiness, same thing. So, um, I don't know why it all grew in the back, that's pretty funny, and not in the front. Oh, okay, uh, in here you have the little bit right there growing. And this one you have it growing all over. You could tell that it's growing, but that those are I'm pretty sure those are all new. Wasn't like that when I put it here. So that's good. Eventually I'll be dividing it up and stuff. But I'm gonna let it grow big in these cups first. Uh, I'm really fast up than everything else. I took my fly traps out. Wow. Horrible focus. Anyway, that means my ghost chilies getting massive. Uh, this is the biggest one I think. And really fast, the Miracle Berry, which is awesome. Can't wait for that. I can't wait for those balloons to open. All right, that's it. See you guys.